Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood fisherman Raznek and we are in the North Atlantic off the coast of Nova Scotia doing some deep line fishing. We're bringing in some swordfishes and some tuna. Me and Emma here, my buddy Emma, we've been fishing for a little while. We've, we've, been, we've been stacking up some money. I think we're going to get a bigger boat. That line from Jaws. I think you're gonna need a bigger boat. I don't know. I think there's a couple boats that I have in mind. There's a kind of this little, the little, little boat. Um, it's kind of like a do all. It can line fish. It can deep line. It can net. It can lobster pot. So we have a, a few different options that we can do with um, with that. But I think first things first, we're gonna go to a different port. Because there's a port kind of north and east of here that I haven't discovered yet. So I think we're going to go there after we bring these fish in. Uh, the game has received a hotfix and an update. The new update you can see in the Steam store. Uh, it addresses sonar. I guess better. this makes the sonar better. Um, I guess the fish only show up when you're in a fish habitat instead of kind of randomly all the time. So there's going to be times where you, you ride around and there's no fish showing up on your sonar. So I guess it makes things a little more realistic. I don't know. I really don't ever use sonar that much. I get my tips from the bar. Oh, those were little fish. That wasn't a very good haul. It wasn't at all. But you can see here on our sonar, um, I mean, we can increase the range. But that, what, what kind of fish are those? That's a red fish. There's snow crab. Kind of, I, I, I still don't know all the little, all the little doodaddies. Uh, what are those? Pollock? Those Pollock? Looks like Pollock, and then maybe Haddock. Yeah, yeah, that's like Haddock, and that's Pollock, and then Redfish. Uh, so we can probably mark this area. This is probably a pretty good. The, the swordfish in here wasn't good, so we're going to take that away. We're going to take that away. We don't want to do with it. We don't want to mess with it, but we will mark. The, we will mark these uh, once we get over top of them. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, these. This is like a good little fishery area. We got redfish. We got pollock. We got haddock. That's a pretty good little spot. Good little spot. I don't think we're ready. I don't think it's season yet to do those. Cause right now we're in season for. Um, where's the fish? We're in season for swordfish until October. I think after October we can't catch any. And then we're only in season for bluefin till September. Where's Pollock? I think Pollock you can catch year round. Redfish year round. Haddock is best caught from August to February. So we can do that. So, okay. So those are in season. But man, the, the, the money is good on these big swordfishes and the tunas. Money is real good. Oh yeah, this is a pretty good sp spot. So we've got pretty much every fish we can think of kind of in this general area. It doesn't mean they'll be here when we get back, so we're not going to mark it. I don't know, I'm not a big sonar user. It's not my thing. Oh, Emma, you can stand down, honey. You don't have to stand there with your spear. We're done with you. Go down below and watch Spongebob or something. Look at our fishes. We got all of our, our deep lines and no bait. I didn't bait them last time I was in. I forgot. All right. What I was talking about is, um, so you can find it, kind of find these little landmarks. Like I found this, the Cape Fortune Lighthouse. Like you'll have these question marks show up when you get close. So I'm going to kind of like, let's go here. I want to see if we can find some. Up, oh, see? See? I'm a game developer. I know where they hide stuff. The Hawk is what they call this. Maybe that's what this episode's gonna be, just a little sightseeing. You know? Turn on, we don't need our uh, spotlight on. Why we're here, oh, wrong button. Why we're here, let's pop up our sonar. Wow. Hmm, there's some swordfishes right here. Hmm. So it might be a good spot off the hawk. We'll have to remember that. How do I blow? I can't remember how I toot my horn. K 
can't remember. But this is the Hawk, which is one of the lighthouses in the area. This is a really cool little island. Man, I wouldn't want to be there in a storm, would you? Not at all. Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Ooh, it's awfully shallow here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's called the Hawk. And then there's something here. This might just be a little town. But, but I guess you're supposed to explore in this game and find stuff and find little hidden nooks and crannies and I think you find other I know each port has different boats I can tell you like uh, this one right here Yarmouth has different boats for sale than Dennis Point so this has a uh, kind of your larger fishing boats and this one has three different kinds of harpoon fishing boats here at Dennis Point, so you can get some harpoon fishing boats at Dennis Point. Here, we're, we're not, we don't have time to mess around. Oh, see, there's a hidden something there. Oh no, you found the foil bin. How, I found it. Where was it at? I must have found something. I found the foil bin. See, you're supposed to explore and find stuff. And then, and then it's available. Let's go in here. Where is it? It must have, it must have been, that must have been the question mark. But I don't see the boat. I guess I'm not supposed to fast travel around. I break the game. This is a neat little area to live. Wouldn't it be fun to live here? Just kind of, oh, look how shallow it is. Oh, 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 look. You can see the, the bottom of the, the ocean. Oh, let's pop our sonar in. Oh yeah, she's she's kind of shallow right here. That's cool. I haven't been anywhere where I can kind of see the. Let's go over here. I'm just I'm just exploring. We're having fun. I know we're supposed to be fishing, but we're kind of out just exploring and looking around before we buy ourselves. We have fish sitting on deck. This is a neat little area. It'd be really nice to live here. Until you have like a hur like a nor'easter or whatever they call it, like a hurricane that comes slams into the coast of Nova, no coast of Nova Scotia, that wouldn't be too good then. Wouldn't be good at all. I remember this book one time about I think it was about werewolves in Nova Scotia, and they had like this horrible snowstorm, and nobody could get in, but it sounded like a beautiful place. And just from this little game here, it looks it looks absolutely gorgeous. Probably rough life. I mean, outside of fishing, what do you do up there, right? Okay. So we found a new boat. Um, I don't know how we did, but we did. We, we found a new boat. I'm just kind of looking around. Taking in all the scenery. Let's be a little farm sim map right here. You know, Nova Scotian farming. <laughs> Cold and wet. <laughs> Have a little fish farm in there. You can throw corn in. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up as I go. Um, where do we want to go? Let's go up this way. No, well, we're just going to kind of keep going up. I'm telling you, there's stuff hidden back in here. I, I really think there is. If not, um, just wasted our time. Where are we at here? This is more, uh, just kind of more living area, it looks like. Peg our sonar. See, I, I, like, I would think these coves would be, like, but then again, schooling fish don't get in here. I'm thinking, like, bass fishing. <laughs> Completely different kind of fishing. I'm thinking like that. Seas are a little choppy today. We got winds at 13 point. We got winds coming out of the south, 13.5 knots, 78% chance of rain. It's currently 19 degrees Celsius on August 9th. 2020. Just wasting time. Okay. Raz, you're having too much fun. Is that possible? I don't think it is. Let's go this way. I'm telling you. I know there's a port up here. This one up here. But I want to see if there's other stuff nearby. Uh, see? We have a question mark. Cape Roseway Lighthouse. Oh, look, isn't that beautiful with the sun? That's gorgeous. Let's go over here and take a look at the lighthouse. Man, that's beautiful. 
Wish it quit raining. <laughs> Cause this is kind of it's kind of pretty out. Without the rain, the sunset falling down. I like the game. I'm having a lot of fun. So it, I'm happy that in this one they put more of a. Uh, this thing right here looks interesting. They put more of a exploration aspect into the game. Uh, I don't remember this stuff in Fishing Barrent Sea. And then once you find it, like we can do this. We can trap fast travel. And it puts us right next to it. Cape Roseway Lighthouse. These are real places. So this is kind of cool that I'm able to kind of see like real world stuff. I'll never, ever in my life probably travel to Nova Scotia. And in the virtual sense, I have. It's kind of like Flight Sim. You know? Let's go up. Oh, see? Oh, you found the Snar set. I don't know how I keep finding these. I don't see it. it what, there was something over here, and it just disappeared. Oh, I need to quit fast traveling, maybe. Yeah, but I don't want to, like, sit here and ride around for 10 hours. We're going to go up. Going right up this way. So we found another boat. We found the star set. And all these are available at Dennis Point, I think it said. So we have more ships there at Dennis Point. So here's an undiscovered location. There should be a lighthouse. Ooh, it's kind of dark. Let's turn our lights on. It's so lonely. Turn our searchlight on so nobody runs into us. Um, so we, or we don't run into something. It's kind of creepy here at night. Oh wow, this is kind of a pretty. Gr oh, you can see the lighthouse way out there in the distance. Looks like a, like a radio tower there. It's getting kind of choppy here. A little choppy in the seas. Lake Lockport is what we've discovered. Lockport. Let's head in here and see what we can find here. I like I like going into these little harbors. Ooh, it's kind of okay. So there's like a little protected harbor there. There's a lighthouse up this way. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Bitch, in real life, it is a stunning. Those trees are houses. I think those are trees. I want to know, is this like a discoverable point? I promise we're going to actually do some fishing. Nope, it's just a lighthouse here. But you can see they are animated. It's pretty cool. So you do have lighthouses that are animated. Um, there's like the dock. You can see it glowing red over there. Like a beacon in the night calling the weary traveler. The weary traveler. Um, how do I get in there? Is the question. I tell you what, this is how we get in. Oh, you have to go in that little rock formation, but we're just gonna fast travel in there. Not so guilty. That's pretty good. So that's dock at Lockport. We have fish on board. Pretty good prices for a swordfish and tuna. Only ninety-eight thousand. Now you can see we have five hundred thirty-eight thousand six hundred and four dollars and seventy-seven cents. Uh, let's go to the dock and let's go to the shipyard and see what they have available here. So they have the Snar set for 550000 It's made of aluminum, a top modern fishing boat. So we can do long lines or nets. The Ocean Runner is a big line and net boat. It can also be rigged for deep line and lobster fishing. So that's a pretty big one. It's a pretty big this is the Ocean Runner. We've got the Snar Set. I don't like how I, those books are just those boats are just kind of doofy looking. So this can only do long lines and nets. This one can do long lines, nets, and crab pots or lobster pots, not crabs, lobster pots. It says. So there must be a difference. So we got the Ocean Runner for six ninety five. The Snar Set for five fifty. Let's um. Yeah, we're exiting. Because we want to... Are there any more? Oh, there's like another port way up here. What say you, friends? Let's go. Let's go out in this way. Let's see what we got. 
spin her around here without breaking something, maybe. Oh, man, it's bumpy. Yeah, we sold fish, I know. Oh, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, that's worth the screenshot right there. Stop this. Stop. Moving. That's worth a screenshot right there. That is worth a screenshot. Oh, we snapped one. I don't like the red in the shot, though. Let's, let's do like that. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Amazing. Uh, something's blocking ourselves from fast travel. Um, oh. Because we got to get out of the port. You can't drive through the, the stone wall. Bad things will happen. I like all the little beacons and the little lights and all that kind of stuff. I'm not a very good... I'm not a very good fisherman. I'm not. I'm not. I, I just like to have fun. You know what I mean? That's what my kid tells me. He's like, Dad, I don't want to do homework. I just want to have fun. And then me being Dad, I'm like, well, you know, son, you can't always just have fun. And then he asked me why not, and I don't have an answer. Um... Still nothing up this way. We ran over that boat. I want to find some more hidden stuff as we explore way up here. Way up here. I want to see what kind of boats they got. I mean, why not, right? Probably going to run out of fuel. I didn't even think about checking for fuel. Uh, and this is way up here in this corner. Undiscovered location. Wonder if they, I wonder if they'd hide anything up in here. Dirty devs. So uh, let's just um, let's just go here first. Oh, stop! There, I just they something popped up, but then it went away, and I but I was right there. Oh, what are you doing? Man, Raz, come on, clear these. Let's just go here first. We'll remember that corner, I promise. Undiscovered location. Lun Lunenburg. Lunenburg. We've discovered Lunenburg. Oh, look at this place. It's happening. It's a happening joint. Look at that. It's a pretty big place. Lunenburg. It's fast travel to Lunenburg. The old wobbly. Um, dock at Lunenburg. Port info. Lunenburg is a port town on the south shore of Nova Scotia, Britain. Oh, Britain founded Lunenburg in 1753 and named it after the Duke of Braunschweig Lunen. I don't know how to say that. Uh, so the most famous ship in Canadian history, it looks like. Oh. According to legend, the fishermen from Nova Scotia who were the fishermen from Nova Scotia who was okay exposed to uh, were called blue noses. Okay, oh, so this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can look at the history. Been famous for its farming, shipbuilding, and fishing, and it's site of Canada's second largest fish processing plant. Lindbergh, with its historical color for architecture, old captain villas, has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1995. See, not only do you come here to watch fishing, uh, Blue, Nose, it's a, Blue Nose was then used as a freighter between Canada and the Caribbean until 19 when she struck a reef off Haiti and sank. Oh no! So you can get, you can read your own history. I'm not going to read it to you. Available ships. So the Arctic Pioneer. Oh, six point. Oh no, thank you. Ouch. Expensive. This is a primarily a crab boat. It can also be raised for line and net fishing. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. He's big. That's a big one. Look at this big thing. The Atlantic Catcher is the biggest snow crab boat found in the game. With its special boat design and huge storage capacity, we can spend days or weeks out fishing for snow crab. Look at that thing, man. Look at that thing. It's all beast. That's pretty cool. But at $29 million, $30 million, what? That is craziness. It's absolute craziness. Let's see what's going on in town. I wish you could buy a drink at the bar. Tips. 
I don't need redfish. There's no missions. Um, oh my gosh, what crew are here? Any crew for hire? It's pretty good people, but that's alright. Alright, so let's exit out of here. And we're going to go back to um, Yarmouth. Because there was a there's a there's a ship I want here on in Yarmouth. Now that we're done exploring for the day, let's dock. Let's go here. Let's go to the shipyard. Let's go available. And right here, this is Lenore. Lenore is a mid-sized fishing boat that can be rigged for line, net, deep line, and lobster fishing. So we can do all different kinds of stuff with that. And that's why I was thinking it'd be a pretty good little starter boat. The backstabber is uh, similar to what we have, just a little bigger. It's harpoon fishing and deep lining only. I don't really do harpoon fishing, so this one can kind of do everything we want. It's kind of tiny. It's a little. It's a little guy. It's just a little feller. But we're junior. We're junior reputation, and it'll leave us plenty of money left over. So you know what? Let's buy us a new boat. Congratulations on purchasing your first longline vessel. Check the wiki if you need help on using longline tools. We know how to longline. We did it before. Uh, you can purchase it. Lenore also supports up to two crew members who can assist you with tasks on the boats. Find someone to hire at the bars of various parts. Uh, would you like to play the tutorial on line mechanics? You know what? Why not? Why not? Uh, you can buy equipment for new fishing uh, tutorial prepare gear. Let's see. Dismiss. Dismiss. Oh, go to the fish market. Select fishing. Buy long lines. Bait long lines. Okay. Yeah, we know how to do all that stuff. It's just giving us kind of a step by step thing. Uh, first things first. Let's look at our crew on board. Emma's with us. We have Emma. She's a good little egg, and we like her. Let's hire someone else. Let's, we're gonna do some. Um, we're gonna do some long lining. Long line hauling right here. Person's got a score of eight. Ooh, Graham. You know what? We can just have a boat full of ladies. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, but we probably need to get there's Michael Wood. Oh, he's like a he's like a score of 136. 42,000 to hire and 2.7 to pay, but man, he's worth it. Look at all this stuff he can do. He's a pretty good feller. Let's hire in old Michael Smith. All right. On board we have our Mikhail, Mikhail Wood, and Emma King. Mikhail and Emma. We could fire Emma, but she's been with us since the beginning. And why would we ever want to do that? Uh, fish market. Here you can bait your long lines. Fishing gear. Buy some long lines. Um, I'm gonna buy. How many can we buy? Can't remember how many this holds. We can buy 12 long lines? Wow, that's a lot to have in the water. Uh, let's just start with four, because I don't know. I don't know which route we're going to go. So then we need to bait our long lines. Oh, I love how it shows these pie charts now. It shows you what you can catch. What do we want to catch today? Uh, let's go with Pollock, which is orange, I think. Crab, krill, mackerel, shrimp. Shrimp is cod. Pollock. We don't want many cod, because I don't think it's see cod's in season right now. Let's just bait up with crab. Just bait up with some crabs. There we go. And we'll hit back from that and back from that. Select buy long lines and buy it. Oh, oh you want me to buy a 250 hooker to complete the. Oh, jeez, oh, please. It's going to make me buy like one of these 250 long. We'll just bait this little guy here with some more crab. Okay. I gotcha. Escape from the port. Uh, drive away from the docking area. Yeah, I know. First things first, we have the money. Let me do something real quick. Dock, upgrades, engine. 
we're gonna we're gonna we want we want maximum horsepower radar we want, we want maximum radar so we can find more stuff autopilot I don't I haven't got into that yet fishing sonar let's just upgrade this bad boy and we got the money let's go for it now buoy we want we want the fancy buoys because they're cool uh, storage let's upgrade our storage because although it's I think it's important to have upgraded storage but I don't I don't know if I want four mm, might as well might as well do it just do it uh, what else do we got fishing quota we don't need to upgrade searchlight doesn't matter searchlight's nothing it doesn't mean anything I don't think it does what the hell let's just do it all right hundred thousand dollars we just spent on upgrades on the old on the old on the nor we're not renaming her you found the board oh that's our that's our little fishing boat we had before oh is this it right here that's the little guy we had before that's the isn't it shipyard it's not let me okay let's get out of here Raz, you're taking forever. I know I Come on. Come on, Lenore. You got this, girl. I'm gonna get inside here. Oh. We want to go here. It's telling us we can catch fish in this area. What it's telling us? I don't like docking here because you can never get out of this place. Takes a little too much. I don't. Uh, takes too much work. Let's go all the way out here. <laughs> okay. The, the old Lenore. There's a, there's a ship right here though. Oh, see, we got like a little green icon thingy. Make your way to the marked area. Hang on, I want to. Quit rushing me. Where is my crew phone? So that right here. Right, these guys. Uh, prepare gear. We'll get him preparing the gear. Oh, then they can gut. Ooh, cool. They can gut for us. We want this person to prepare our gear. Then we're going to set some long lines. Make your way to the marked area. I'm going as fast as I can. There's our feller. Look at him. He's on the back here just hanging out with us. No. Now that you've reached the mark here, it's time to set your first long line. Okay. Oh, it's going to want me to do it in first person. Uh, so go to first person perspective. Stop driving. Move to the work deck. Pick up a lime bucket. Okay, so you can do all this stuff. And grab the lime bucket. Place the line bucket on the line setter. Already prepped for setting. It's not going to let me. Because what's his name's here? Uh, interact with the line setter. Boom. Wait. Okay. So you can do all this by yourself. But why would I? Because I have crew. I have crewmen. That can do it for me. Wait for the line to drop. Uh, is there a way to steer this bad boy from the deck? Other boats have it, but this one I don't see. I don't see like a deck steer option. I don't even know if there's fish out here. The boat automatically drags it out. I wish this was better animated. I really do. I mean, you, it goes from this little bucket here to this big, long, ugly thing. So I, I do wish that was better. Here's our gutting table. This is where we haul them in. All that good stuff. You guys know what to do. You've done this before. Set. We're setting it. Got a hundred. We got like 30 meters to go. It just wants to keep like throttling up. We got to inboard this time. All right. There we go. It's going to make me do, like, get rid of dude here to finish this, so you just go rest. 
we'll stop driving. Let's do this again. Okay, Mikhail. Bossy much. How did you fit in the cabinet? They're magical, I tell you. Magical. There we go. Already prepared for setting. Yep, we're just setting long lines here. And I think that's where we're going to call it. I think in the next episode we'll actually bring in the long lines. But you guys kind of get the gift. We got a new boat. This thing's pretty cool looking. I like it. It's kind of a fancy, fancy girl. The Lenore. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. We're going to leave it named Lenore. I think that's a great name for a, for, for a boat. It is. I think it's a wonderful name. All right, everybody. Uh, I know this episode was kind of weird, and I didn't plan it very well. Um, but hey, that's what you get with me. I, I kind of don't know what I'm doing. I'm still kind of learning the game. But it was fun exploring, and we're not, we've, we found that you just kind of you travel around, discover locations and different boats and all different kinds of stuff. I bet you there's something right here. I mean, you're just, you have to kind of go all over the map to find stuff. I really wish there was like a little island way down here. That'd be kind of cool. There's an island here. <gasps> to, go, to go down here and explore the islands. We'll do that. We'll do that in another episode. Yes, we will. All right, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. See you later.